What's going on everybody? It's Nene. We got some more Black Ops 2 raid. A little bit of kill confirmed here. And what I think I'm using, if I can remember correctly, is the MP7 with silencer, fast mag, quick draw handle. Um, and then I'm using tactical mask, dexterity, toughness, or scavenger I should say, my bad, and um, blind eye. And I'm kind of playing around with a bunch of different stuff. Uh, trying to get that class set, trying to get those weapons set. I know I've had issues with the assault rifles. I know some people say the Type 25 is the best weapon and uh, one of the best, better assault rifles because obviously the fail with select fire is ridiculous. It's like playing a completely different game as far as the assault rifles go. Um, but I've been playing around with a bunch of different things. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm done whining about this gun or that gun. It is what it is. I'll play around with it. If I get good scores with it, I'm gonna try to get gold, diamond camo on everything. And if I don't, I don't. It's just one of those things. The game, the connection. What did it? You know, what are you gonna do about it? So either way, uh, that's what I'm using. That's what we're playing. And I had a lot of fun during this match, so I figured I'd post it up and use it on Double XP Weekend, as you can see. So if you haven't been playing, it is Double XP Weekend. Get in there. I don't know when it ends, but it probably ends at some point. And that guy should have died, plain and simple. But what I wanted to talk about is kind of like uh, there's been a, obviously a lot of uh, – conversation going around uh, on Facebook, Twitter, the internet, the blog sphere, all this other good stuff about the tragedy that happened. And it's one of those uh, tragic, unfortunate things that's absolutely disgusting that somebody would do this to ch un innocent children. You know, I have a six-year-old and a one-year-old. That could have very well been my kid. And it, it, it's absolutely disgusting that anybody would even think about doing something on this uh as, as crazy as that. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I, I, I couldn't even imagine what's going through somebody's mind when they're trying to, when they're pulling this type of crap. But, um, what's that, what this has really done is opened up a lot of doors, people pushing their agenda for gun control, people, uh, and it's, it's open to, to a guy like me, it's opened a lot more than that. You know, it's, it shows our issues in schools and with our government. It shows, you know, our coddled society that's come up in the last 20 years with this uh, self-esteem movement and all this other crazy crap that's happened in the 90s. The, the lack of parenting, the fact that doctors are pumping our children full of drugs for diseases they don't even have, such as ADHD, just because, instead of telling the parents to be parents, they just throw them some drugs and throw them in the corner you know, bog down their mind and everything else. There are so many more issues than guns. and But people forget those issues. They don't want to acknowledge those issues. They just want to blame an inanimate object, a lifeless inanimate object. I can sit my, my, my gun here on the floor, and it will never once load itself. It will never once grow arms and legs, walk out of the house, and start randomly shooting people. It has to have either me on the other end of it or a crazy psychopath on the other end of it doing such things. You cannot. It's an inanimate object. And, yes, obviously it shoots bullets, which kill people, but at the same on the same day that this tragedy happened here, a guy over in China slaughtered 22 kids with a knife. You know, you had the Oklahoma City bomber who blew up, you know, and killed 19 kids under the age of six, plus a multitude of other people, injured 700 people, destroyed buildings all over the place. Not a gun or a knife or a screwdriver or anything was used, straight up bomb. Uh, they used box cutters and took planes into the into the buildings for 9-11s. There was no guns involved there. I mean, you can look through history, and you can literally probably look up a murder with every object conceivable to man. There's probably There's been people killed with ice picks. There's been people killed with screwdrivers. There's been people eaten to death. I mean, you got the whole zombie apocalypse thing that's going on. We would literally have to ban everything in the world in order to... I mean, you'd have to cut everybody's arms and hands off and legs off so people couldn't beat each other to death. You'd have to pull everybody's teeth out so people couldn't eat each other now with these bath salts and all this crazy shit. The more, the thing I'm trying to get to is it, is it isn't these objects. It's just crazy fucking people and mental illnesses and all this other crazy crap that's going on that didn't happen 20 years ago. Because let's be honest, when I did something bad... When I had an issue, if I touched something, stole something when I was a little kid, or, or whatever I did, I got my ass 
beat for that. And guess what happened? I never did it again. Now you have you can't discipline your kids because CPS will call. If somebody else sees you discipline your kid, they're going to call CPS, and you're going to go through a nightmare. And to a lot of people, it's just not worth it anymore. And this is a direct result of this crazy, just craptastic society that we've actually put ourselves into. And it's one of those things. Uh, you know, people push this gun control, and it's one of those... I don't understand what people think. Do people honestly believe that if, even if there was a complete and total gun ban, that criminals would not be able to get their hands on this type of stuff? Prohibition didn't work. They banned alcohol. People still got alcohol. Making drugs illegal hasn't worked. People can still get their hands on drugs, and making guns illegal will not work. It's really that simple. It doesn't matter how many laws you put into place. People are still going to get their hands on this stuff. And all that's going to really do, people are saying, well, what's, what's stricter gun, uh, gun control going to hurt? It's not going to hurt to a point, but the problem with our government is they take an idiotic approach to everything they do. And they'll make it literally impossible for a legit citizen such as me and you to defend ourselves against all these crazy, crazy people out there. And it is just the way it is. I mean, that's just the way it is. And people need to realize that. Uh, it's becoming pretty apparent that a lot of people in this world uh, put themselves in some weird little imaginary bubble that there isn't any bad people, nothing will ever happen, unicorns are shitting rainbows all over the place, and it's disgusting, it really is. It's not even amusing anymore. It really disgusts me that people have created such an imaginary world and took so far a step out of reality that they have no concept of what's going on in the, in the real world. You know, you got Obama on the, on the news crying, and that it's a tragedy that 22 kids died and all this and that. And then a day later, he'll go bomb another country and not even blink if it kills three or four families that had nothing to do with anything trying to get one bad guy. You know, it. that's how screwed up society is and how screwed up they think, well, that's okay, but this isn't okay. And, you know, none of it's okay. That's the thing I'm trying to get to. None of it is okay. It's Society is a disaster. And people, and the government's going to make it worse, and people that live in these bubbles are going to make it worse. And it's just not going to get better until, I don't know what we need to do as, as a human race, but we need to wake up. And it's one of those unfortunate things, you know, and it's, it truly does disgust me that, you know, 20-some kids that didn't even get a chance at their lives, kindergartners, lost their lives over some sick, demented screwball. And it, it's just, it's, it's a sad, sad situation. And I hope that nothing ever happens to my children because all hell will break loose. I can promise you that. It'll be the last time you ever see me do a video. Uh, but um, it is what it is, guys. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all this other stuff and your take on the gun control and this strategy. And you know, I'm going to try to get you guys some more videos. I've been really bogged down lately, but it is what it is. So as always, guys, keep your heads up. Have a great day. Peace.